All right, so some of you guys are probably wondering where my 9900K review was this morning, if you're watching this at the time of upload, because that's when the embargo lifted for all the performance reviews for that CPU. Long story short, there was some miscommunication between me and Intel, and it resulted in me not getting the sample until this morning, several hours after the embargo lifted. It was really no one's fault. It was just a miscommunication. It is what it is. Uh, but the upshot here is that today you get a slightly different kind of 9900K video from me, uh, instead of just you know your, your standard uh, graphs and benchmark and things, which a lot of other reviewers have already done. You should check them out as well. Um, I'm gonna just do sort of a let's play and give you guys a real world example of how the 9900K performs, specifically when paired with a beast of a setup, including two RTX 2080 Ti Founders Editions in SLI. You can see I've got a custom loop set up for our 9900K, which is currently overclocked to five gigahertz at 1.35 volts. We've got a pump res combo, and we have a single 240 millimeter rad with the most ghetto fan rig ever. I know I have radiator uh, fan screws somewhere around here, but I just I don't want to spend the time to find them. They're somewhere around uh, So I just duct taped it never do this, please This is just for because I'm lazy and, and this is for a video You can see the radiator we have is fairly thick and moving back to the graphics cards I have overclocked these guys 32 gigs of G skill trend and Z DDR4 at 3200 speed and that's all on top of an Asus Prime Z 390a Motherboard so that is our test setup and like I said, we're just gonna play a couple games I have three titles picked out uh, apart from that We're gonna keep it super cash and I'll have a, a frame rate counter in the corner of the screen so you can monitor the performance performance throughout the entire video uh, and just sort of see what this ridiculous system is capable of. Sound good? Let's get to it. All right, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, here we go. This is the very beginning of the game. I have never played this before, so prepare to cringe. And it looks like I can probably take this guy down. F. F you. Ho ho. Now the reason why our frame rate is pretty low is because this game, while it does support SLI, for whatever reason, it's really not utilizing the second card much. I think we're at, what, what is it? 18% GPU load on the second card right now. We're at full 100% on the first card, but uh, it doesn't seem to be leveraging the second card much. So that kind of explains the underwhelming frame rate that you see there. So I'm probably not gonna play this game much longer and we'll just kind of move on to the second one pretty quickly here because uh, I really wanna showcase the, uh, the horsepower in this system. And right now this, this game isn't really doing it justice. Mm, I love cold cement. It's my favorite. Oh my God, there's more over here. Okay, so I gotta like, I gotta, I gotta run and jump. Is that what's going on here? Oh, geez. Yep, that's it. Okay, totally got this. Oh, yeah, there we go, okay. Oh, no, 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 get, get back up. Come on, I just bought these clothes. I don't wanna get them wet. Ooh, mushrooms. Oh, this game's gonna get a lot more interesting. Go. Oh God, that was a big ass penis. What was that? Okay, I feel like I'm gonna die soon if I don't get air. Oh, air is good. Oxygen, okay. I'm mashing E mother effort. <sighs> they really keep you on your toes in this game. All right, so you guys can see that we've been hovering around 50, 60 FPS this whole time, uh, at least in this environment. Who's to say what it, what it would be like if we were uh, more outdoors in the jungle or during the daytime, something like that, or in a building. Um, but, uh, oh, okay. I think that's, that's that means it's time to move on to the next game. All right, GTA 5, let's do this. Now we're using very high settings across the board, maxing out pretty much everything. And uh, this game certainly takes more advantage of SLI than Shadow of the Tomb Raider does. We can see that we are at 95 to 96% load on both of our RTX 2080 Ti's and the frame rate is hauling. I mean, at 4K, getting uh, around 120 to 140 FPS. And GTA 5 at these settings is pretty nice. Getting about 100 FPS rolling through the streets. Now it does dip down to the 80s occasionally. Still feels really smooth though. Surprisingly, no micro stuttering from what I can tell. Um, where I was experiencing that, I think on an older driver, one of the first drivers, it might've been the launch day driver, I'm not sure. Now, I'm sorry you guys have to watch me play through a camera. I would have loved to just give you a, a much cleaner OBS screen cap or something like that, but that does tank performance. Actually in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, um, we got 100 FPS on average when we weren't recording and 83 FPS on average when we were. So literally 83% of the performance um, when you're when you're doing a screen cap and I wanted to show the system at its absolute best So you will please forgive having to watch me through a camera. 
right, let's cause some trouble here, which is never too hard to do in GTA 5. In case you're curious, the custom loop is keeping our 9900K fairly cool at 50, around 50 to 55 degrees C. I'm sure the solder Tim is also helping those thermals stay to a minimum, which is pretty nice. All right, I'm entering a cheat code here because I don't want to die. I don't want to die on camera, it's just embarrassing. And our GPUs, it uh, looks like the bottom card is getting up to about 66C, and the top card's obviously going to be a bit hotter at 83. It's kind of maxing out at 84C right now. I always love watching the frame rate tank as soon as I make an explosion happen on screen. All right, let's get the physics going in here. Let's do it. Yeah. My boys, still getting like 100 FPS here. I see no problem, sir. Oh, I am no longer invincible, and I am probably gonna die right now. Or not, -hoo -hoo. Oh, hey, okay, all right. And it's time to move on to the next game. Rounding out with some Battlefield 1, and I have spawned inside of a tank, and it looks like it's on fire. I should probably get out, but then I'll die. No, I should get back in the tank. I don't know, what do I do? Go, bro. Oh, geez, yep, I'm following you. Oh, I'm gonna hide behind your body. That didn't work. Really showed them, didn't we? Got one. That's probably the only kill you'll see me make this entire game. Oh, oh, that's a smoke grenade. Why am I running towards it? Now bear in mind, this is multiplayer. We are playing online. So internet bandwidth and all that uh, does factor into some degree to whatever performance we're seeing right, right now. I'm going behind a tree. You'll never find me. Oh, they found me. Getting about 160 frames per second behind this tree. It's awesome. Haha, <laughs> killed you at blazing fast frame rates. Run! Come on! Oh, jeez. Nope, 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 nope. Still swimming, still swimming. Get out of the water, dude! Come on. So FYI, we're at 63C right now on the 9900K, and GPU is still looking like around 85, 86C right now. Getting kind of toasty. So I would say we're averaging overall anywhere from 150 to 160 FPS, thereabouts. So it's actually really good. Uh, ultra preset Battlefield 1 at 4K. So, yep. All right, guys, so there it is. The fastest gaming PC in the world, technically. What do you guys think? I mean, who needs this kind of performance? Probably people with endless budgets and just, just money falling out of their butt. This is easily a $3,000 setup. I, I can't justify the 9900K for $530 plus dollars, even though it is a hell of a lot faster than the Ryzen 7 2700X as we've seen in a lot of reviews so far. I mean, it is the new fastest gaming CPU on the market, uh, stealing the title from the 8700K. That being said, at its current price, it is a tough sell and you get a much better bang for the buck. There's a whole lot more value packed into the Ryzen 7 2700X, so do not overlook that chip if you're just looking to build a sweet gaming PC. But this was just kind of for the lols once again, so hopefully you enjoyed seeing those astronomical frame rates again at 4K, pretty much max settings across the board in all the titles that we tested. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below about this ridiculous setup and the 9900K specifically. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Get subscribed for more tech stuff coming at you really soon, and I'll see y'all in the next video.